mean it get the job done it make me go from blue to oh okay she kind of cute <laughs> Welcome on back guys, it's your favorite around the way girl, naturally Candace. And if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure that your notification bell is on because I don't have any kind of post schedule. I just post whenever I wanna post, no kind of schedule. So yeah, make sure your notification bell is on. But anywho, a lot of you have been asking about my makeup um, routine, my makeup tutorial, as well as my eyebrows. So I finally decided to meet you guys in the middle and do a little tutorial. Is it a tutorial? Yeah, a tutorial on my everyday makeup routine or I like to call it my mommy makeover. It's not a full on glam. It's pretty much just eyebrows and skin just to make myself look <laughs> decent. So I've been promising you guys. So here it is. So let's just get right into the video, the tutorial, the video. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> now, I just wanna say before we get started, Keep in mind that I'm an artist and I'm sensitive. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Keep in mind that I am not like Jackie, 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 like Jackie Ina or like a makeup guru. So I do like the bare minimum. I do <laughs> what works best for me. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. It might not be, you know, proper makeup etiquette, but it worked for me and I look good. And this is what I do to my face nine times out of 10, just, the bare minimum because that's all your girl know how to do <laughs> but yeah okay let's get into it now <laughs> so first things first i start by priming my face the primer that i use is the fenty pro filter instant retouch primer i really just started using this when i got the fenty foundation and i did get the little travel size because your girl be on a budget i use a lot of drugstore um makeup because I'm just not trying to spend that much money on makeup products. I mean, I would love to, but I just don't, you know, I'm a mom, I got five kids. I can't be spending $80 on makeup, bro. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't. But anyways, I just start really quickly by priming my face and getting it ready. Um, I usually use like a pump of the primer and just, smooth it out if you guys see like dry flaky skin i don't know what to do i've used vitamin e oil coconut oil and i promise like my skin ever since i gave birth to caleb i promise you my skin has been like so dry especially in this area and like my eyebrow area i just <laughs> don't know what to do but after I prime my face, I like to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I know a lot of people prefer to do their foundation and then do their eyebrows. I just feel like doing my eyebrows first um, works for me because I do have kind of oily skin. I know dry flaky skin and oily skin, but I noticed that when I put my foundation on first, my eyebrows are never snatched how I really like them. So I just like to do my eyebrows first. So. I got a basic little spoolie. I can't even remember where I got this from, but it came from like a kit that I got a while ago. But yeah. So I just like to shape up my brows, just kind of comb them in the direction of where they need to go. And then I like to get started, so. What I've been using on my brows recently is the NYX Brow Gel in the color black. I said I was gonna try to go down on the color and maybe try like a brown, but the black actually works for me. I just have to remember not to be um, too heavy on it because if so, like my brows will be super, super black, but yeah, so. I like to just take, oh, come on. <laughs> I like to just take a little of the product and just put it like on the side of my hand, like so. And then I like to go in and start doing my brows. Now, I don't do anything special to my brows. I don't create a, a arch. I just 
kind of highlight my natural brow. I kind of just shade it in or fill it in. I think that's what it's called. And I just go off of the natural shape that my brow already has. So I like to start by doing the outside first. I like to line the top first and line the bottom first and then I'll go in and fill it in. The hardest part about doing my brows for me is like getting the tail together. Sometimes I like have the tail too long and I have to go in and kind of fix that. So I think that one, you notice like, I try to make sure that they're even on the bottom. I'm noticing that it's kind of like, there we go. My brows need to be done right now. So hopefully they come out okay. And then I'm just gonna go do this one really quick off camera and then I'll come back once I've filled this one in. Alrighty, so I've shaded in my brows. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm doing it on camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up. If you guys notice, my eyebrows are not alike in shape at all. So I don't even try to worry about getting them to look exact. I just want them to look <laughs> good if that makes sense but um I noticed that I went kind of heavy up under there so I'm just going to clean that up and then I might finish shading in the front part so what I use to kind of carve out my eyebrows I use this fit me concealer um what color is this I think this is the 50 the cafe old school as you guys can see I need some more um Got this at Walgreens. I was using everybody's favorite, this one, but um, I kind of bounce between these two. Doesn't really matter. They both kind of do the same thing for me. So. Yeah. So I usually just take like a flat brush. I believe this is a e.l.f. brush, yeah. A concealer brush, just a little flat brush. And I just wet the brush with some concealer on both sides and kind of brush off the extra product so it's not like too bold. And then I just take the concealer brush and just go up under the eyebrow to kind of carve it out. And then I also, I just started back doing this, but I started back going on the top as well. So that's one of the reasons why I like to, um, do my foundation after my brows because I want to blend. I don't want my eyebrows to look like, hey girl. I want them to look like, yeah, we snatched. So it, it helps since I'm like putting the concealer on to kind of sharpen the eyebrow. Once I put on the foundation, it'll kind of help tone it down. If that makes sense, get out the way. And then once I get the product on there, I kind of just clean it up and pull the product down. And then I just do the same 
then to the top. I kind of carve out the brow and then I pull the product up away from the brow. And this really like helps kind of snatch the brow up as you guys can see. Alrighty, so I think that one is good. And now I'm just going to do, of course, the same thing to the other brow. Oh, it would help if I had some products on there. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I don't really like to take it on the top all the way to the top of the brow because I don't like the brow to be really boxy. I like it to kind of have a, a natural look to it. So that's why I start at the top, like just halfway through the brow or so. Then the same process, just gonna clean up under it and pull the product down. And then same thing up top, shape it and pull the extra product up away from the brow. Like so. And so now check the brows out. Okay, girl. <laughs> and then I'm going to wipe that product off of my hand. Alrighty, and then after I have carved out and the brows are snatched, I just use, now this is a splurge. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I wanna say this is like 20 bucks. I know e.l.f. makes a brand. So many people make these now, um, but I've just had this one for a while. So I'm going to use the rest of it and then I'm going to probably switch over to the e.l.f. But it's just a clear gel and I go through and set my brows. Just gently brushing them. And a lot of the product like gets on the tip of it. So I just kind of put the tip on and then the product back and I'm gonna set this one if you guys notice in the front of my brow I kind of pull it up and over and then once I get to the middle towards the tail of it I just pull it all to the side I really pull them up just go ahead and set this brow all right Make sure that product's on there. And then brows are almost done. Um, just because too, like I told you guys, I like my brows to kind of be subtle and sharp, not look at me, look at me. So I don't really like that extra lightness around my brow, like that concealer look around my brow. So I take, oops, sorry. This is a Real Techniques brush. Let me see. This is a shadow brush that I use. And I just kind of go in and blend out up under my brow. Try to like blend that concealer out so it's not so noticeable. Same thing up top. Blend, 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 blend. And then I do this one. much better so they are snatched but they're not like eh, shocked so yeah little thing that i like to do so my brows are completely done as you guys can see they are done so next step is foundation foundation i've been using is the fenty pro filter soft matte um this is actually in the color don't get me to lie this is 440 i am 440. i recently just started using this foundation before i used fenty i was using the fit me 
and I was getting so oily. Oh, I was using the Fit Me and I was using the L'Oreal. But I was getting like so oily. So I took a poll on Instagram of some of the foundations that everybody was wearing and a lot of people swore by the Fenty. So I went and got some and hands down favorite foundation. Don't even think I'm ever gonna go back to drugstore. Definitely worth the splurge, but it was like $34. And I just um, shake it up first. I forgot to shake it, shake it, but definitely want to shake it up. And then I just put two pumps of it on my hand. If I'm going for more of a full face, I might use two and a half pumps, but I think two pumps does me really good. I like it lightweight. I don't like it like super heavy on my face. Plus with like Caleb always being in my face, touching my face. I don't really want like makeup all over him, all over his bib and clothes, so. So once I put it on my hand, I just use my finger to kind of dab it all over my face. And then I use my favorite foundation brush ever. It is a Real Techniques and it is the face brush and I need to clean my makeup brushes, but <laughs> yeah. But this is my favorite and I just go in and buff the foundation out. Um, I like to make sure that I'm making big circles and really like giving the product time to like work into my skin and oxidize, all that good stuff. <laughs> Sounding like I'm like a girl. <laughs> so yeah, I usually start on one side of my face, usually always this side, <laughs> just routine, buff it out make sure I get my problem area. I get so many like dark spots, dark spots and hair bumps like around my chin line. And then just want to buff it out on the neck and then come up to the other side of my face. Just buff out. I put a little on my nose. I try not to really aggravate my nose too much these days because like I said, um, my skin is like so dry. And I hate when I put makeup on and then my nose starts like flaking, so. And then once I go around my eyebrows, as you guys see, I just make sure to kind of outline my eyebrow to go over that concealer. What am I supposed to say? Oh, just again, so it's not like so noticeable on my eyebrows. And I even go up under the brow and over the eyelid and do the same thing. And then once I kind of buff it out for the first time, I kind of check in the mirror and whatever I have left is where I'll go in. Usually will be my chin and my problem area just to make sure that everything is covered and everything, you know, looks nice. Get up on my forehead. Alrighty, so. Mm, let me check on my foundation right there. Let me just clean this up really quick. Alrighty. And now the next step is kind of optional for me. It really just depends on how I'm feeling. Some days I will put the foundation on. I will set my foundation, add a little eyeliner, and just call it a day. But for the sake of the video, especially um, since I do this when I know that I'm going to take pictures and post on Instagram, I kind of want to wanna i kind of want to lighten up under my eyes that's when i'll add the concealer again you guys already seen the concealer and again i'm not doing a full glam so i'm just adding just a little concealer there to help open up little concealer there i might put just a little here and just a tad bit down my nose okay this is it and then I will take a damp beauty blender. As you guys can see, I told you I need to clean my makeup products. Please, please don't come for me. I know, I know, but <laughs> my beauty blender is not clean. So I use a damp beauty blender and I just go in and blend that concealer out up under my eye. I don't like to take my concealer like all the way up here. I like to strictly take it up under my eye just to kind of Give me a little facelift, give me a little brightness. So I'm just blending right up under my eye. And then to help kind of 
buff the two together, I swap to the big booty end of the booty blend, <laughs> booty blender, beauty blender, and I kind of go around the outside just to push the product in and get it to blend. And then I'm gonna go up to my forehead area. And then blend down my nose. All very subtle. Nothing like just the bare minimum. Just the bare minimum. Alrighty, so to set up under my eyes where I just, um, was that highlighted? Yeah. Highlight it. I think that's the proper term. I'm just going to use my Ben Nye banana powder. I've had this for a while and it was kind of expensive, so I'm still gonna use it. So I just like to take a little of it and squeeze it out into the top. And I like to just dip my beauty blender in it. And then I just gently press this right into my eye well into my eye up under my eye and let that bake <laughs> let that bake for a little bit that, that, that's the baking part of this so yeah pushing that in and i'm going to apply that powder everywhere that i put the concealer so of course down my nose and my forehead Sound effects included. <laughs> so, yeah. I've been skipping this part because I've been getting a lot of creasing up under my eye. I think it's just time for me to try out some different concealers and a powder because no matter what I do, no matter the technique, I just get a lot of creasing up under my eyes lately. But while this is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and set my foundation. <clears throat> And I like to use the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. This is in the color Deep. Again, this is a drugstore product and I just like to take some of the powder out and put it in the top. And then I like to take my e.l.f. powder brush. I think this brush is like $3. And I just dip it into the top and kind of just buff that in to all the areas where I apply the foundation and want to set it. So definitely setting up under my neck, my problem area. And then I'm gonna take it and gently go down my nose a little highlight going on. So there we go. Perfect, perfect, per perfect, perfect. And then once I get done with that, I am going to grab my e.l.f. blush brush. I love this brush for this reason. It is just a simple e.l.f. blush brush. And this is the brush that I use to dust away the powder from up under my eyes and my nose. And once I brush that away, <clears throat> I'll go back to this brush. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. I'll go back to my powder, br powder brush <laughs> and use whatever extra powder that I had to just kind of, you know, blend this out and make sure there's like no harsh lines and it all kind of flows together. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm over here dying. Next thing I love, love, love to do, um, it's like probably my favorite thing. If I don't wear any makeup, I'm definitely going to wear this next product and that is going to be eyeliner. Again, this is just the CoverGirl Perfect Eyeliner in the color Black Onyx, the blackest of the black. I don't know why, but I just love, love, love wearing eyeliner. It's my favorite thing. I think it just kind of adds something to the eyes. But yeah, let me, give me a second. I actually can do it. 
So I just use a brush to pull it down and add it to my waterline. I believe that is the correct term. And I like it like really, really black. So I go over it a few times just to make sure that it's exaggerated. There we go. So you guys can see with eyeliner, without eyeliner. I love how my eyes look with eyeliner. I don't know why, it's just a favorite thing of mine. All righty, so now both eyes have eyeliner. Yes, yes. All righty. And one last thing, and then we are pretty much done. So I have this powder brush that I use to dust off powder. And then I actually have another, I said powder brush, but I have this blush brush by e.l.f. that I use to dust off powder. And then I actually have another one that I use for blush and highlight. I haven't really been feeling blush lately, so I've just been doing the basic of highlights. Oh, for my highlight, I use the Black Radiance Contour Kit, another drugstore product. As you can see, I have used this <laughs> down to the minimum, <laughs> but so I just take some of the gold and I get it all over the brush and I do the fish face and I add a little highlight just right there. Add some more highlight on that side. I'm gonna grab the mirror just to make sure that it's blended out. Same thing over here. And then whatever is left on the brush, I kind of like to just gently take it around the eyebrow and bring it down. Kind of catch it from the side. Perfect, perfect. <clears throat> and then I'm going to, of course, grab a little and put down the bridge of my nose. Sometimes if it doesn't really, I just use my finger, bring it on down and then buff it out. There we go. Alrighty, and once I do that, I again take my powder brush with leftover product and I just go through and make sure everything is blended nice, pulled out, no harsh lines. Perfect, perfect. Good, good, good. And then I take a makeup wipe and I go through and wipe off my lips so I make sure that there's no extra product on my lip and I also do this to my piercings. Make sure I have the makeup off of my piercing. Perfect. And then I'm going to set my face. I use the NYX, what is this, the matte finish. And then I just go through and spray. And then I take my damp beauty blender while my face is still wet and kind of just gently go around and push the product in to get it to really set. Got that tip from Auntie Jackie. <laughs> ah, yeah. I watch so much Jackie Ina and still can only do basic makeup, but whatever. I just enjoy watching her. <laughs> I bet you the, the problem is is that I don't even try to do any makeup outside of my normal routine. I'm so comfortable with what I know how to do. I know it looks good. I just don't want to step out and try to do anything different like eyeshadows or different ways of highlighting and contour because I'm just, you know, comfortable with what I got going on. So one last step, mascara. I put mascara on after I set my face. Another tip that I tip that I got from Jackie, so your mascara doesn't run. And I just put a little coat of mascara right there on my eyes. Perfect. 
only on the top. If I'm doing like a full glam, like for a show or something, or I'm going out on a date, I'll put it on the bottom, but for every day, just on the top. And the mascara that I use, another drugstore product, L'Oreal Voluminous Original, Voluminous, I'm so dumb. Voluminous, Voluminous <laughs> um, <clears throat> Original. And then I, then I add a little gloss, a little elf, this basic lip. Of something to open up the lips so they don't look so ashy and that's it <laughs> this is my full face my everyday face my mommy makeover this usually takes me maybe 20 minutes at the most depends on if Caleb is cooperating or not but this is literally my go-to nine and a half times out of ten this is what i'm doing to my face if i glam it up then you might see some blush you might see a winged liner at the top you might see some extraness in my brow but this is it this is my old faithful so but so this is the finished product thank you guys so much for watching this is like my very first time ever doing like a makeup tutorial like get ready with me style kind of thing so i hope i did okay and i hope you guys like it don't forget to comment like subscribe make sure your notification bell is on because you never know when i'm gonna post a video honest to god i never know so yeah Thanks again for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys know I always write you back. I'm never too busy for you guys. But until our next video, guys, peace out. Bye.